Illumina sequencing. I also have a nice animation for this one. As with 454 sequencing, the DNA is first fragmented, and adapters are ligated to the end of each of the fragments. So there you see the DNA is fragmented, and there are the adapters. The adapters will allow the fragments to bind to a special chip. So there's the chip, and it has a lawn of oligonucleotide primers, which will allow the fragments to bind. And there you see they've bound. And then the DNA fragments are amplified. The amplification process is a little bit complicated, but this gives you the general idea. Next, the reverse strand of DNA is removed, leaving single-stranded DNA fragments for sequencing. Special nucleotides are used in the sequencing. Like Sanger sequencing, they contain terminators and are fluorescently labeled, but unlike Sanger sequencing, the terminators and fluorescence can be removed. So basically, nucleotides are added one at a time, and after each addition, a laser reads the fluorescence. Next, the terminator and the fluorescence are removed, allowing another base to be added. And you'll get a series of images like this. They're put into a computer, and using special software, you can get the sequence of DNA.